So what is meteor scatter? The process of bouncing VHF UHF signals off the ionized trails of meteors passing by the Earth provides a reliable means to make contacts over greater distances and increase work doll states and grid totals. The following bands and modes are used for meteor scatter. WSJT version 9.7 will be used for this demonstration, mode FSK441, and assumes you have your transceiver, sound card interface, computer, and means to key your radio working correctly. Ensure you've installed a software program to keep your computer clock accurate to within one second or better, such as Dimension 4. FSK441 runs a 30 second sequence of transmit and receive. Once the auto on button is clicked, the program transmits for 30 seconds and then receives for 30 seconds. Make sure your transceiver and amplifier have sufficient cooling for this digital mode of operation. What determines which station transmits first? The station that is furthest west or if you have to point your beam west of north or south, you are second. If you have to point your beam east of north or south, you are first. If you are first, ensure you check the TX first box in the WSJT window. Okay, make sure you study and memorize the recommended QSO procedures. And if you happen to forget, just press the F5 key on your keyboard to bring them up. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up WSJT9, and it opens up our audio streams. In this case, we've uh, selected input 4 and 19, which coincides with our USB audio Kodak 6 for our signal link unit. Okay, we'll go to Setup, and click Options, and here we'll verify that our audio in and our audio out matches our streams in our WSJT window, and you can see PTT port is 9 and ensure you fill out the top two blocks with your call sign and grid locator. Okay, we'll head on over here to Ping Jockey Central to set up a QSO with somebody. In this case, we'll be running with K4MSG Paul in Virginia, FM 19 on 144.145. Okay, in the two radio block, we'll enter K4MSG, click Look Up, and it should enter Paul's grid square. If it doesn't, you'll have to do it manually. Click General Messages, We'll put a checkbox in the TX first box since we are west of Paul and ensure your transmit and receive single tone boxes are checked. Take a look at the azimuth and hot A heading and get your beam headed that way. We'll go ahead and click monitor to start the software programming receiving. And you'll want to adjust the slider at the bottom of your spec JT window to read 0 dB. We'll go ahead and select auto on and the software will start uh, transmitting in just a few more seconds. Okay, as you can see now, I've started my 30 second transmit sequence and TX1 box is highlighted in yellow and I'm sending Paul's call and my call. We're on 144.145 and currently putting out about 993 watts. The top part of the screen shows the radio view while the bottom section shows the computer view. And as a reminder, we're on a 30 second transmit receive sequence. Okay, you'll see a ping come in here. We'll click on it to decode it. And you can see we've got partial calls. So we just keep on going. Okay, you'll see we get another ping here. We'll go ahead and click on it to decode it. And as you can see, it was a false decode, so we keep on going. We need both calls or both calls in a signal report. Okay, we got a nice big ping come in. We'll go ahead and decode it. And as you can see, we've got to both calls in a signal report. So we immediately switch to transmit three, which is R26, We'll be sending R26 back to Paul now. Okay, that was a nice loud ping back. And as you can see, we've uh, received a RRR from Paul, which actually constitutes the uh, completion of the QSO. However, I now switch to transmit 5 and send my 7-3. 
While not mandatory, sending 73 lets the other station know you've received his RRR and that the QSO is completed. Okay, now the QSO is complete. Me and Paul can talk about it on Ping Jockey, and here we congratulate each other on our QSO. Okay, now for the most important part, don't forget to log your QSO. Click on the Log QSO button, and then just go ahead and select Yes. I would like to thank Geddes W8BYA, Larry W5LDA, and Paul K4MSG for their help and support in getting on Meteor Scatter. Work the meteors before they work you.